So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and well guys, this is utterly broken. This does break the game, this is overpowered and this must be seen. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I must give credit where it is due here, although I have been a massive fan of the Magic Harpoon for a while now, I've covered numerous times on my channel with previous builds, locations, etc, etc. The original uploader of this combo, as far as I am aware, is a guy called Rage Gaming Videos. And I'll link his video and his channel down below, guys. He does post that daily out of ring content and you should definitely check him out. Okay, so although I've been a massive fan of the Magic Harpoon for a while now, pairing it with this little bit of sorcery makes it extremely overpowered as you're seeing by the clips on screen now. It is utterly brutal. Now what I will say is everything I cover in today's video in regards to items which help this, you'll find guys to links down below within the video description. That's if I don't quickly mention where they're gotten from within today's video. So yes, just in case, all guys will be found linked down below. So what's actually happening here? And why is this doing so much damage? Well, it's actually quite simple. It's thanks to a little bit of sorcery known as the Scholar's Armament. You know what this does, guys. It enhances that right hand armament with magic damage. Well, how much of an enhancement does it do? Well, it's quite simple. It gives you 75% of whatever that sorcery scaling is on your staff. So as you can see, mine here, is roughly 400 so i'll get a 75 percent of whatever that stat value number is right there which is pretty potent but then guys you pair that with any other increase you have in regards to your build or you have spec into intelligence etc etc that will only go up even further but it doesn't just end there because we are applying this this scholar's armament to a weapon in a claimant's harpoon now this is a weapon that as of standard scales with that intellect. This means guys that any Ash of War you can put on this item, on this weapon, as long as the Ash of War is specced into the weapon as standard, it also gains a damage increase thanks to the Scholar's Armament. And I said this before and I'll say it again, the Clayman's Harpoon is one of the best weapons in this game because it is so unique offering that magic damage and physical damage as a standard weapon scaling with that intellect i mean it is absolutely incredible now attributes required for the actual claimant's harpoon is 12 in strength 10 in dexterity and 12 in intellect this is farmed via the seo for river but again guys full guide to how you get this weapon link down below so what's special about the claimant's magic harpoon you may be wondering and the reason it's perfect for this and this setup is because every other weapon in this game or most other weapons in this game they either have a ash of war built into them or the only way you can get magic on a said weapon that you can apply an ash of war to is actually specking into said elemental damage via the ash of war that is different with the claimant's magic harpoon because it offers that magic damage even though the ash of war you spec into it can be set as standard you don't have to apply any kind of element to it to the ash of war with the claimant's magic harpoon and that's why it's perfect for this and considerably overpowered and this means because as we do know you can't actually put or use this scholar's armament on a weapon with an elemental damage triggered by an ash of war or a weapon which already has an ash of war built into it it means that the claimant's magic harpoon is super unique because although it scales with magic you can apply ash of war to it set that ash of war as standard and you can still use the scholar's armament on it boosting and buffing that attack damage and that's why this pairing is extremely overpowered and super super effective so what I use with it guys, before we get into the actual Ashes of War which are phenomenal with this, my staff is the Lucid's Glintstone staff, plus 10, 100% my opinion the best staff in the game, hey ho. How many I'm using the Twin Sarge Glintstone Crown, I mean I've just tried to spec into intelligence here, um, without all these things on my intelligence is about 60 or so, so hey. Armour wise in regards to chests, gauntlets and uh, greaves, 
I just use whatever I can. I mean, I like my other dons, I like an armor, so that's what I go with, guys. Simple as that. But hey, you want to keep it at a medium load for sure, at, at maximum, people. In regards to talismans, first up, I'm using the Shard of Alexander. Greatly boosts the attack power of skills, why not? I'm also using the Stargazer Heirloom, raises intelligence, must for me. Uh, I'm using the Magic Scorpion Charm, raises attack magic but lowers damage negation. Also, want to give a massive shout out to my buddy on Discord, Colba9, for actually hooking me up with this thing. I actually messed up my quest line so I couldn't get this thing. But hey, thanks to him, I got it. Incredible. And lastly, I'm using the Maricus Sorcerer. It greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. This also gives me a bit of that intelligence, people. So nice. In regards to my flask, I am using the Magic Shroud in Cracktia. Temporary boost magic attacks. And also using the Strength Nut Crystal Tier. Temporary boost strength. Why not, guys? Sorcery, I'm using, obviously, the Scholar's Armament. And I'm also using the Terra Magica. This raises the magic strength of those within the sigil. Pretty cool. There's probably other things you could use here, guys. Although I wouldn't say 100% necessary. I mean, if you want to add more damage to it and you can, why not? Do just that. Now, in regards to Ashes of War, the one I like using most is the Phantom Slash. Absolutely brutal, guys. But Rage Gaming Videos gets on well with the, the spinning weapon, which is absolutely brutal as you would have seen by the clips guys but hey i mean you can try these out with any other ash of war like i said it must be set as standard i mean if you try and apply a element to it i.e poison blood lightning fire etc etc you won't be able to use the little bit of magic the sorcery in the scholar's armament on said weapon it has to be set as standard but yeah i have tried out uh, quite a few of these and without a shadow of a doubt, the two best of the ones for me anyway are the, the spinning weapon as well as the phantom slash. But hey guys, if you find something even more brutal, please let me know down below in that comment section guys. And that is basically it. That is how this works. It is utterly brutal. It's an incredible pairing and it does make this game super, super easy. And there we have it guys, use it while you can, it probably will receive a looking into buy from software sometime in the future. You never know guys, you just never know. Again, if there's any item you don't have here, you are missing, I will link guys to each and every one within the video description people. So yes, check them out if there's anything you need. And there we have it guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.